Okay, so let's go and let's uh, create uh, more particle systems in here, and we're going to use the same method that we did when we were first creating a list of movers. So, uh, I'm going to change this to num of ps for particle systems, and then uh, first we want to create a particle systems a list for particle systems, and we want to have it to have it blank. Particle systems list dot append. Uh, we want to append that particle system in, and then down here we want to for particle system in particle system list we want to uh, for each particle system in our particle system list we want to apply force and update it and then uh, we need a list to keep track of the uh, the positions and uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to position list dot append no, uh, I'm going to do uh, extend uh, because this is a list and we just want a long, we don't want a list of a list. So if we do append, we're going to get um, another list. We're going to have a list of lists for each particle system, but we want just a long list of positions. So that's why we're using extend. masses and uh, so we need to create a blank list of position list and a mass list okay so let's try this number of PS is not defined um, I'm gonna change the name of the move this over here to num of particle systems and uh, this is one of those things that it's dangerous to pass in large values so I'm going to put a slider I'm going to create a slider and then I'm going to go in here and edit we need uh, integers uh, the max I want the max to be 4 So now we can't like accidentally set it to 17 or something. So now we have three uh, three particle systems, and it took uh, about four and a half seconds to compute that. So now we have three particle systems moving along here. Uh, and this kind of this is just kind of a, a more complicated version of what we had before. So let's go in and let's change. Uh, let's set the velocity to a random inside of our particle system. So uh, let's just we're gonna do the same vector uh, a vector random out of our vector methods that we wrote. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, and let's go our uniform. Uh, let's have it set between one and two, or point five and two. Well, it's three. Uh, so let's test this. Uh, line one one one. Okay, I forgot a paren. You can kind of see that they are.
can see that this particle system is moving over here. This one has hit the bottom already. This is going over here. Uh, one thing that uh, just kind of occurs to me is that uh, we didn't set a check, check edges command for our particle system. So I imagine if we check the, the location of our particle system, it's going to be somewhere way outside of the box, which uh, we're not going to worry about. But it's something to keep in mind. Yeah, let's bump this up to four just just for fun.